Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And a very good morning to our beautiful madam My name is Arina Agenia binti Anthony Daniel And my matrix number is A198062 So today, I am as a CEO of Padini Holdings Berhad Would like to present about our company background Padini Holdings Berhad is a Malaysian company based on a holding company investment Padini began operation as Wayo Garment Manufacturers Company in 1971. It was affiliated in garment manufacturing and wool selling. In 1995, Padini Holdings Sendirian Berhad was transferred to a public limited company and adopted the name Padini Holdings Berhad which was later listed on the second board Kuala Lumpur Stock Exchange. Padini Concept Store is a concept that place all brand of Padini Holdings Berhad under one roof or one-stop shopping. Our first branch was opened at one utama shopping mall in Malaysia in the mid 2000. But now we already have many branches all over the country. Our company operates from 9:30 a.m. until 6 p.m. excluding public holiday. The type of company that we run is retail, and the type of industry is the fashion of textile clothing. Our company sells items for women and men, such as shoes, accessories, adult clothing, and so on. The brand of our company is focused on quality casual wear, latest fashion trend, and of course we offer at the best price. Our target is the thin segment market. Good produce by our company are not only sold in the domestic market, but export abroad such as Bahrain, Brunei, Mercer, Indonesia, and so on. Our company has 330 stores comprising independent shop, franchise store and consignment counters in Malaysia worldwide. But we also have a very intense competitor which is Bonya. The founder of Bonya Corporation Berhad is Chiang Sam Seng. Bonya is a very well-known brand in our country. Bonya Corporation Berhad is an international luxury fashion retailer based in Malaysia which has more than 700 sales outlet across Asia and 77 boutiques in Malaysia. They sell clothes, accessories, shoes and leather goods. Bonya also has more than 1,200 sales store and about 185 independent boutiques worldwide. Their products are also on the rise with the Padini company. However, we will make sure our company's product will continue to be the choice of consumer and we will also continue to maintain the quality of our product so that everyone continue to support our brand because our brand is an international brand that is much cheaper than abroad. As a creatively driven and design oriented group, our company wants to create fashion consciousness that is stylish yet affordable within our brand niches. In addition, we are using the way of advertising and promotion to help our company build brand image until we are successful in the market. We know that we are very aggressive in advertising our product compared to other competitors. As a result, our company has always been one of the top brands in the list of customers when they want to buy clothes. We will continue to grow widely and always make changes or uniqueness to the goods we sell. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Siti Nur Fatiha binti Muhammad Zraidi. I am the auditor for our company. So for today, I'm going to brief you guys about the financial ratio for Padini Holdings Berhad. As you can see in the slide, there are four types of ratio that I'm going to brief you guys. The first one is the liquidity ratio. The second one is the activity ratio. The third one is the leverage ratio. And the last one is the profitability ratio. So without wasting more time, let's continue with the first one which is liquidity ratio so let's start with the first one which is liquidity ratio as you can see on the slide I'm gonna brief this ratio based on three years which is 2017 2018 and also 2019 so for current ratio in 2017 we get 2.33 times and the next year we get 2.93 times in 2019, we get 3.92 times. So what can I conclude here is, Padini Holding Berhad have an increase in every year from 2017 with 2.33 times to 2018 with 2.93 times and consistently increase in 2019 with 3.92 times to pay. It is a short term obligation on time. So the next ratio is quick ratio. In 2017, we get 
1.71 times. The next year we get 1.94 times. And 2019 we get 2.58 times. So the conclusion that, that I can make here is after deducting the inventories, Parini Holding Berhad in year 2019 got the higher ratio with 2.58 times than every year. So it's mean in year 2019 is satisfactory level to fulfill obligation. That's for liquidity ratio. So the next one is the activity ratio. Still the same, I'm going to brief based on 3 years. So let's take a look for event turnover. In 2017, we get 8.313 times and the next year we get 6.53 times. In 2019, we get 3.91 times. So what can I conclude here is in 2017, 8.13 times is the highest ratio that reflects effectiveness of inventory to generate sales. But from 2018 to 2019, it become dropped to 6.53 times and 3.91 times. So that's for inventory turnover. Let's take a look for average collection period. In 2017, we got 15 days. But in 2018 and 2019, we get the same day, which is 12 days. So the conclusion here is, at 2017, have the highest ratio with 15 days for collecting debt of our company. But in year 2018 and 2019, it become decreased with the same ratio, which is 12 days for us to pay our debt. So that's for activity ratio. Okay, next is leverage ratio. As you can see here, for debt ratio in 2017, we get 37%. In 2018, we get 29%. In 2019, we get 23%. To so, 37% is the higher percent in debt ratio that held on 2017 than years in 2018 with 29% and 2019 with 23%. It's mean in 2017 is the higher amount of debt to finance asset. That's for debt ratio. The second one is debt to equity. In 2017, we get 60%. In 2018, we get 41%. And the next year, we get 29%. The higher ratio is 60% in 2017 compared to the other two years. It means in 2017, is the higher amount of debt. That's for leverage ratio. The last ratio that I'm going to brief to you guys is the profitability ratio. For gross profit margin, in 2017, we get 39%. In the next year, we get 41%. And in 2019, we get 39%. So, the analysis is, in 2018, Parini Holding Berhad got the higher ratio with 41% that indicates higher contribution margin than 2017 and 2019. That's for gross profit margin. For net profit margin, in 2017, we get 10%. In 2018, we get 11%. And the next year, we get 9%. So, the conclusion that I can make here, Padini Holding Berhad got better income to shareholder in 2018 with 11% more than the other two years. So, that's for net profit margin. And that's all from me for... Financial ratio for Padini Holding Berhad. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ainur Inshira binti Ainur Jamar Rahman. My metric number is a 198 I am a marketing director in Padini Holdings Berhad. So today I would like to talk about the horizontal analysis in Bonia Corporation Berhad, which is one of our competitors. Horizontal analysis or internal comparison use different accounting years in the analysis using the same company in the comparison. Liquidity ratios. It is including current ratio, quick ratio, and networking capital. The current ratio, Bonia Corporation Berhad is consistently increased in every year. So in 2019, with 3.06 times to pay its short-term obligation on time is a higher ratio than 2017 and 2018. Okay, 
for this quick ratio in this company also consistently increase in every year. So in 2019, with two times to pay its short-term obligation without really on inventories is a high ratio than 2017 and 2018. Right? In the networking capital in this company become decreased in every year from 2017 to 2019. Second, activity ratios. For example, inventory turnover, average collection period, account receivable turnover, fixed asset turnover, and total assets turnover. For the inventory turnover, we can see that 2019 is the higher ratio with 2.28 times of inventory to generate sales than 2017 and 2018. So in average collection period, we can see that in 2017, the company have a problem in collecting debt with 72 days, which is the highest days among these three years. Our receivable turnover ratio consistently increased in every year. In 2019, with 7.16 times, is the highest ratio in collecting receivables. For the fixed asset turnover, company Borneo Corporation Berhad has the highest ratio with 1.9 in 2017 to generate sales and it become drop in 2018 and 2019. We have leverage ratio including debt ratio and debt to equity. For the debt ratio, 36% in 2017 is the highest ratio than 2018 and 2019. It means the higher ratio reflects the higher amount of debt to finance assets. In debt to equity, 56% in 2017 is the highest ratio which highest amount of debt. And it become drop in 2018 and 2019. Fourth, which is the last ratio we have is profitability ratios. It is including gross profit margin, net profit margin, return on asset, and return on equity. For the gross profit margin, in 2018, Borneo Corporation Berhad got 61%, which is the highest ratio than 2017 and 2019. It means the higher ratio indicates the higher contribution margin. Next, for the net profit margin, we can see that in 2017 with 6% is the highest ratio than 2018 and 2019. It means the highest ratio is the better income to shareholders in the company. Return on assets ratio in Borneo Corporation Berhad in 2017 is the highest with 6% than 2018 and 2019. This shows in 2017 is the highest return on firm's investment. For the last one is return on equity. We can see that in 2017 with 9% is the highest percent than 2018 and 2019. It means the highest percent is the higher return to shareholders. My name is Nor Azwani binti Mahi. My metric number is A19A0541. Now, I will proceed with practical analysis. First, uh, liquidity ratio analysis. Based on graph in 2017, uh, it can be seen that our competitor Bonia has a relatively high ratio rate compared to our Padini for current and quick ratio. This show the Padini performance is quick deteriorating and make Bonia have a high ability to pay its short term obligation on time and have satisfactory level to fulfill obligation obligation without really on inventory. However, in 2018 and 2019, our company has shown an increase in current and quick ratio. This show that Padini has success in improving the financial performance of the company that we have ability to pay its short-term obligation on time and also have satisfactory level to fulfill obligation without really on inventory than Bonia Corporation Berhad. For networking capital ratio, the our Padini is higher than Bonia from 2017 until 2019. This show the positive value in our company in every year that better than our competitor Bonia in term of absolute 
measure in liquidity. Second, uh, activity ratio analysis. Through the result of the graph, Padini, uh, Padini has a high ratio of asset turnover, inventory turnover, and account receivable turnover. The higher ratio which, led, uh, which held by our company have reflect the effectiveness of inventory and asset to generate or sell and have good reflect in quality re receivable than Bonia. Padini also has low average collection period compared to Bonia. This show that uh, this show our Padini has no problem in collecting debt, and this help the company to reduce the problem of bad debt. Third, reverse retail analysis. Uh, in two thousand seventy. Padini have higher debt than Bonia that could lead the uh, could lead to company financial distress. But in 2018 and 2019, Padini has successfully addressed to company finance problem in reducing the company debt and may be able to attract additional lending capital. Lastly, profit profitability rate Retail. Based on the result in the graph, it can be seen the Padini slightly behind in gross profit margin, where Bonia has a higher ratio, which prompt Bonia to show high contribution margin. However, for net profit margin and return on asset and equity, over the three years, Padini has the higher ratio than Bonia. This show that Padini provide good finance, financial performance in income and return to shareholders as well as return to fin investment. Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Farhazwani binti Abdul Wahab. My matrix number is 819A0132. I am the Human Resource Director for this company. I will present about the recommendations that we can do to improve the organization of our company, Padini Holding Berhad, and the recommendations to improve the organization of our competitor, Bonia Corporation Berhad. For our company, we need to provide various training to employees to increase productivity and improve the quality of work. This aims to improve the current performance and future performance of employees by increasing the ability of employees in performing tasks so that the objective of an organization are achieved. With this, they can improve skill and knowledge in certain areas. The second is our companies need to reward employees based on their job performance. This method is very effective in raising their spirits to work. For example, companies need to give bonus to employees who work for 30 consecutive days. Another suggestion that can be used in improving the organization of our company is employers should always provide motivation to employees. For example, our company should always hold programs or counseling season for employees. This can help trouble workers and prevent them from losing focus in doing work. Thus, the productivity and quality of one's work is not disturbed and does not affect the company's profitability. Lastly, the gap between employers and subordinates need to be reduced to create better communication. We need to work together and exchange opinions in an organization to achieve a goal. For our competitor Bonia Corporation Berhad, the suggestion they can make is to improve the quality of stock by improving and innovating products sold according to the latest styles that meet the needs and taste of customer. This can give confidence to Bonia's customer to use Bonia product and improve Bonia's reputation. The second suggestion is that Bonia is encouraged to expedite the payment of debt to creditors and make sale in cash rather than sell in debt. This is because a high amount of debt will affect performance and can lead to the liquidation of the company. 
Lastly, Bonia is encouraged to be more active in online sales on platforms that are frequently used by customers such as Shopee, Lazada and so on compared to Bonia's own website. By that, customers will be able to know more directly about the product offered by Bonia more quickly and encourage customers to visit and buy product more often. In conclusion, to achieve a desired goal, we need to make various changes in all aspects and ensure that every employee is always focused in doing their job to produce quality products.